here in the meadows butterfly garden we have all kinds of host plants for butterflies this is balloon vine and it is uh, the host for a couple of different hair streaks including the silver banded hair streak it gets its name from these balloons if you will these are the seed pods after the flowers go to seed and when we look inside there we go you can see it's got uh, a seed there and so what i've been working on uh, is collecting seeds from the balloon vine to try to grow uh, seedlings that we could then offer uh, in our butterfly garden giveaways like the one we're planning on this spring so we're gonna plant a whole bunch of these uh, balloon vine seeds and see if we can't propagate them now we've collected our seeds from our balloon vine seed pods and now we're just gonna go over and here's our seed trays all prepared and we'll plant them and water them and hopefully I'll be able to share a video down the road here in a few weeks and we'll have little vines. So here we have blue mist flower and it's a great nectar plant for a variety of butterflies and what we're doing again is we're collecting seeds that we can then start as plants that we can be able to give away to help people add to their home butterfly garden and adding good nectar sources so what we do we just have our cup and once the blue uh, flowers are done whoop, there we go they turn into seed heads you see here and then all we do is coax those seed heads into giving us their seeds. So what do we got? Ah, there's a whole bunch. Can you see there? The seed heads. And then there's the cup. See there, we've, uh, we've got quite a few seeds to plant this morning. Well, welcome back to Martin's Milkweed Meadow. So we've been pretty busy the last few weeks from about early December on looking here at nasturtiums and we've planted them because uh, someone gave us advice that if we grow nasturtiums around our milkweed that those aphids that like to suck the juices out of our milkweed plants they'll go to these nasturtiums first. I guess nasturtiums are sort of like a magnet for them and then if they come to the nasturtiums that they'll leave our milkweeds alone. So we're going to get ready today to transplant those nasturtiums into bigger pots. And we haven't forgotten about milkweed here at the meadow with all the other butterfly garden plants we've been starting. You can see here, we've got about 80 pots in this section. You see there are milkweeds got uh, their two sets, almost three sets of permanent leaves, gives you an idea of the size. They're about two, three inches tall now. This is swamp milkweed. You can see some more down here. And so, probably a month, we'll see how the weather goes. And we'll have probably 100, 150 pots of milkweed ready to give away. A couple of plants per pot. So we look forward to that and when they're ready to go, we'll announce it here on Martin's Milkweed Meadow. While we're growing uh, all these seeds, the monarchs in the garden have been pretty active as well. And let's take a look and see what they've been doing. 